Mindfulness is definitely a buzzword in the wellness space, and it's getting a lot of attention in the media recently. For good reason, though, as there's an increasing amount of evidence that shows its effectiveness at lowering your risk for depression, while also reducing stress and in turn lowering your risk of developing illness or disease. But what exactly is mindfulness and how do you put it to use in your day-to-day life? Welcome to the Intuitive Health Podcast. I'm your Vitality Lifeguard, Heather Thatcher. The truth is we all have a pretty good idea of what we should be doing to be healthy, but we get stuck trying to figure out how to squeeze that into our hectic schedule and stick to the plan. In my career as a registered nurse, Reiki master, and holistic healer, I've discovered that the key to maintaining a healthy lifestyle lies in your ability to reestablish your intuitive connection to your body. When you know how to listen to your body's intuitive messages, being healthy no longer feels like work. Just before we get started today with this episode, I just want to talk to you about a lot of the free guided meditation events that I have that are available online. And so every couple of weeks, I release a new meditation that's only available for 24 hours. So you have to be on the list. That way you get notified either by email or Facebook Messenger when that meditation goes live. So if you're interested in that, then go to heatherthatcher.com slash meditation to sign up to be on the list so that you'll never miss a free full-length guided meditation by me. To start off this episode, I'm going to explain mindfulness in my most favorite way that I've ever had it explained to me. So I want you to imagine your mind as the ocean. When life is going well, the sun is shining, the waves are calm, rhythmic, and gentle, and everything is peaceful and relaxing. When we're stressed, is as if the perfect storm rolled in. The water is choppy, the waves are huge, and we're getting tossed about, barely keeping our heads above water. But if you go 30 to 40 feet below the surface, everything is calm, quiet, and completely unaffected by that storm. It's this serene space within you that you're trying to access with mindfulness. And it doesn't matter how wild and wonderful your life becomes or what you've got going on or how impossibly long your to-do list is. You always have access to this calm space in your heart center. And the more you practice mindfulness, the easier it is to access it. And boy, oh boy, was I ever happy that I knew about mindfulness when I was going to be late for my first day of work. Picture this. You're taking the train for the first time in a new city and there's a train line that has one name but it has two drastically different directions the train can take, but you don't know this. So just to be clear, on that same train station platform, a train with the same name can leave the platform heading in the same direction, but then the train line forks and the train with the same name can either head one direction or the other. Who was I to know that the Expo train line would end up in one of two different cities? I clearly missed the memo that would show me that one expo train was not like the other. And so I was on the train patiently waiting for my stop when the announcement came on that this was the end of the line. And I started to panic a little. Okay, maybe more than a little, but I got off the train to find the map where sure enough, I saw that the train line forked. And I learned my lesson about the Vancouver transit system and quickly got back on a train that would bring me closer to work. But it was clear that I was going to be late for my very first day at work. Now the panic was really starting to settle in. I could feel my heart starting to race. I was going over in my mind what I would say to my supervisor when I arrived. And I was really, really starting to panic. I was right in the middle of that perfect storm in my mind, getting tossed about on the waves. But... I took a moment and took one deep, slow breath. I reset my stress response with my breath, turned off the fight or flight response and sunk deep down into that mindful space, 30 to 40 feet below the surface of the water, deep into my heart center. I started to manifest that maybe I wouldn't be as late as my catastrophizing mind had originally thought. And I showed myself some compassion. Sure. It was not great that I ended up on the wrong train in the wrong city and I was going to be late for my very first day of work, but I learned my lesson and will apologize to my supervisor and everything will be okay. 
you can access this space of calm even in the greatest of storms. It doesn't matter how intense your day is or how big your to-do list is, mindfulness will make a huge impact on your life. Not only will you be able to calm yourself and gain perspective, you'll also avoid being caught off guard. Have you ever noticed that you can get startled so much more easily when you're distracted? One of the biggest benefits of being mindful and noticing the present moment is that you'll see more. And by see more, I mean that you won't get caught off guard and potentially triggered to follow some unwanted habits or thought patterns. When you're paying attention to what you're doing, what's happening around you and how you're feeling, it's tough for anything physical or emotional to sneak up on you. You're paying attention, so you'll see it coming and you'll be prepared. Make sense? All right, so that's enough with the why you should be mindful. Let's get into the how of what you should do to be more present and practice mindfulness more often so that you can access that calm space quickly anytime that you need it. Start off your day with a mindful morning. Walk through your morning with me right now. Your alarm goes off, or if you're lucky and you just wake up all on your own, good for you. After you've turned off your alarm, before you open your phone or do anything else, slow yourself down and ask, how am I feeling today? And then listen for your answer. Maybe you're feeling tired, sad, groggy, sore, stiff, hungry, thirsty, nervous about your big presentation today, or wondering what the heck that dream meant. Whatever it is, give yourself 30 to 60 seconds, yes, seconds, you don't need a lot of time here, to really listen to how you are feeling. Don't assign any judgment. Just listen as if you were listening to the radio and notice what you hear. Then the next step is to choose one aspect of your morning routine that you're going to do mindfully. Especially if this is new for you, don't put so much pressure on yourself to do everything mindfully. You're human and your mind is going to wander and you're going to have to multitask some things sometimes. That's just life. But if you decide that this morning you're going to brush your teeth mindfully, you will only be committing to two minutes. And two minutes isn't that hard, right? For those two minutes, pay attention to how the toothpaste tube looks before you pick it up, how it feels in your hands as you squeeze out the perfect amount onto your toothbrush. Pay attention to how the flavor of your toothpaste tastes in your mouth, the feel of the brush on your teeth and gums, and how you're holding your toothbrush. Do you find yourself naturally spending more time on one side of your mouth than the other? So many things to explore when you're being mindful. Anytime another thought pops in your head, thank it for what it was telling you and release it and then come back to your mindful moment because you know you'll be able to address that thought in two minutes or less. So it'll be easy to let it go. And then when you're done brushing your teeth, go on about your morning and bring this moment of calm with you. And then mix it up. Choose something different about your morning routine to practice mindfulness with every day. Pay attention to every juicy, beautiful moment and just take it all in. The more that you train your brain to do this, the easier it will become. Your mind will start to recognize this mindful state as being more beneficial than the typical stressed out version of ourselves that so many of us are living in. When your mind notices all of these benefits, it's going to start to communicate this with your body and change your body composition on the chemical level. There will be different hormones and chemical balances all working towards your greatest good. And it can all start with a question in the morning and two minutes of paying attention while you brush your teeth. Are you in? To help you remember to ask yourself that question, I've created a phone background for you and you can download that by going to the show notes page. There's no email required. It'll just be there. You can just press and hold it on your phone screen and it'll help you download. And then it'll be the first thing that you look at when you look at your phone during the day, especially if you make it your lock screen. So as soon as you turn on your phone, it'll have that image with that question. And this question is good at any time throughout the day. It's not just the morning. It's just a good little reminder to check in with your intuition to see what your body needs. And having it as your phone lock screen will be that perfect reminder. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I am so grateful for the energy that we shared. I know you're the kind of person who likes to help others. So I invite you to share this podcast episode with someone who's important to you and who you think would also benefit from hearing this episode. 
If you want inspirational, intuitive health content like this daily, connect with me on Instagram. Every morning on my story, I give you a mini challenge, affirmation, intuition builder, or energy clearing technique to help you take what we talk about on this podcast to the next level. You can find me over on Instagram with the name at Vitality Lifeguard. You can also find these daily tips as a separate podcast. It's called the Intuitive Health Minute. Finally, I have a personal request for you. It helps me greatly if you take a few minutes to rate and review my podcast on whichever platform you're joining me on today. So after you're finished here, please go to iTunes or Google Play, Stitcher, or wherever you're listening and rate and review the Intuitive Health Podcast. Or you can also take a screenshot of you listening to this podcast episode and share it on your social media. It really helps me get the word out and then we can work together to help even more people. I am so incredibly grateful for the time and energy you'll take to do this for me, so thank you. You can find the show notes for this episode at heatherthatcher.com slash podcast. I am so grateful for you, you beautiful soul, and I wish you all the peace, love, and light this week. See you next time.